My name is Lian Huang. I'm an assistant professor of surgery at the University of Utah. Um, I also work at the Huntsman Cancer Institute. Um, I'm a colorectal surgeon uh, by training, um, and I'm also one of the uh, University of Utah CTSI KL2 scholars. I was a KL2 scholar from 2020 to 2022. My research area focuses on uh, perioperative opioid stewardship. Um, my goal is to reduce our health system's iatrogenic contributions to the worsening U.S. opioid crisis. What makes my research cool or relevant is that um, opioid stewardship is something that really permeates the whole health system. Uh, we perform millions of procedures every year, and the majority of those patients are uh, prescribed opioids for pain management. However, it turns out that patients take very few of those opioids, and uh, most of those leftover opioids um, are often stored insecurely or um, are often shared with family or friends. And this can lead to uh, misuse. Uh, it can lead to future uh, misuse of illicit drugs like heroin or synthetic opioids like fentanyl, um, or it can uh, or it contributes to um, increased poisonings and overdoses in children from opioids. Um, what I find really interesting from this is that most people don't realize the risk that leftover opioids at home can pose. Um, and so when you tell them that, uh, their initial reaction is that they, they do want to dispose and they do want to be good stewards of uh, opioids, um, but the reality is they don't take action. Um, and uh, so during the COVID pandemic, I worked with my pharmacy colleagues. Um, we developed a program to provide free home disposal bags to every patient filling an opioid prescription. And what we found is about a quarter of patients will dispose of their prescription opioids after surgery after they no longer need it. Uh, and over, but over half of the patients are interested and willing to dispose, but they have uh, real barriers in turning that uh, willingness into actual disposal. So, um, so what I find really interesting about my research is um, how can we promote prescription opioid disposal and help people make their homes and communities safer? Um, and the other side of that is how do you build health system interventions that promote disposal that are scalable and sustainable. I believe my research helps the world uh, by making com our communities safer. Um, when I first came to Utah, I actually uh, was looking for a research topic. Um, and so I met with uh, surgeons from across the mountain West. And when I asked them what the pressing public health need was in their communities, they told me the opioid crisis was a major problem for them. And this was something I knew very little about when I started here. Um, but what I learned over time was that this was something that um, affected many of the rural communities in ways I never would have expected. So patients would tell me stories about how they would have surgery and then go home. And then after they recuperated, uh, the week after they went back to work, someone would break into their house uh, looking to steal opioids for either misuse or sale. Um, and so it really is something that's around us uh, and we don't think about, but it can have a real detrimental effect on our communities. Um, and so this, I think this research helps move that uh, forward and makes the communities a safer place. The CTSI has helped me in many, many ways uh, as a junior faculty. In fact, I would say that I owe a lot of my career success to uh, CTS, the CTSI program. Um, when I started, I was very comfortable, you know, conducting health services research studies with large data sets and doing the statistics, but I didn't have the skills or know-how or mentorship to develop or test interventions to fix the problems that we were identifying. I ended up taking MSCI classes in grant writing, survey methodology. Um, I made a lot of connections with various uh, statisticians and ultimately uh, received the KL2 award, which helped me establish a wonderful mentoring team that has really helped me advance my research and my training.